Today, in this tutorial, I will show you computer form design simulation in Envis. First, we will make the geometry of the computer form. Click on Vista CPD. Here, CPD means Centrifugal Form Design. Click on Blade. Double click on Blade Design. Okay. Uh, here we see that the rotational speed is 1450 rpm volume flow rate this and density this first click on calculate now here we see that this uh, that and this automatically design the plate on the initial input now let's see this blade in 3d right click on blade design create new Select blade gen. Blade gen means blade generation. It will create a 3D blade of centrifugal pump. Now double click on blade generation design. Okay. Now here we see the blade generation. Click on 3D view. Here we see the 3D view of our centrifugal pump. And okay. Now see basically what it shows the a view of the plate now close this now let's see what kind of impact we, uh, happen on the centrifugal pump if we change the rpm let's increase the rpm let's say it's 2000 rpm click on calculate what we see if we increase the rpm the length of the blade it will decrease and the width of the blade increase now let's see what the happen if we decrease the rpm let's say 1000 rpm click on calculate here if we decrease the rpm the length of the blade will increase and the width of the blade will decrease now let rotational speed be 1450 rpm and volume rate increase let's say uh, 300 click on calculate here we see if we increase the volume flow rate the length of the blade is decreased and width of the blade increase let's decrease the volume flow rate 100 click on calculate here we see if we uh, if we decrease the volume flow rate, the length of the blade increase and width of the flow rate is decreased. Now let's see what kind of impact we is going to see on volume. Uh, here, uh, remember this condition: 1450 rpm volume flow rate, and what happen on the volume? Click on it. Here we see the volume. Now let's change the flow rate to 280. Click on calculate. We see that there is increase in width and other things. So if we increase the volume flow rate, then there is increase in area and volume in the volume. Now, if you want to change, for example, in that flow angle, you can change from here by the click clicking on it. Now here you see that hydraulic volumetric mechanical pump. If you want to change this, click on the respective one, and you can change as per your the centrifugal uh, pump requirement. Oh, okay, let's know the difference between centrifugal pump and centrifugal compressor. Centrifugal pump basically means that we are talking about the fluid which is not combustible, for example, water, mercury, etc. When I say centrifugal compressor, it means I am talking about air or something, some gas type which can be easily compressed. Okay, now click on impeller. Click on geometry. You can change the shaft to minimum diameter as per your requirement. You can change this angle. Just click on it and you will define. Uh, I am assuming that you know about the hub blade angle, mean blade angle. Uh, uh, because we are doing answers and I hope you are all ingenious, uh, those who are watching. And you can change anything as per your requirement. Just click on user define if you want. Blade angle 22.5 degree you can change if you want. And number of range. Number of range means number of blade. Uh, here I uh, click. You can change if you want it. Click on calculate. Here you see 
uh, what kind of power required to run your principal pump to get this differential ratio to row coefficient head coefficients etc here is this you can also see the for the pollute here you see the exit area lamps exit hydro diameter etc okay now let's uh, now i want to do fluid simulation on a certain rpm for example i want to do simulation on rpm 2000 volume flow rate 100 density of the fluid basically 1000 kg per meter cube okay high price 20 meter and mf per mm ampere gauge please come calculate here calculate the design of the blade now uh, delete this because uh, I am going to make from this data the new blade chain. You can also click on the update uh, to update data from this blade chain. Now, uh, right click on blade design, create new, click volute. It will create the design of the volute in 3D. Mm. Okay. It will take the early. Now, the design is complete. Now, double click on geometry. Mm, now, it will show you the geometry just wait a minute. Double click here. Now, here is the basically the design, uh, the design of the volute. Okay. Uh, now click on work okay right click on blade design and transfer the data to okay sorry it is my mistake i want to transfer the data on travel with i don't know okay delete this right click on it transfer to new data to turbo weight now right click on turbo mesh and Send this data to CFX. Okay, right click on Turbo Mesh. Uh, if you, okay, wait a minute. Click on Turbo Mesh and select Outer Domain. Make sure you uncheck this. If you do, didn't do that, uh, you are not able to see the geometry in while doing fluid simulation. Now, right click on Turbo Mesh, click Update. And in this symbol here, you see the uh, two arrows. It means uh, the data is refreshing. Okay, the question mark here shows that there is no input is given uh, currently now, so we need to give input. So here is updating the turbo mesh. Basically, turbo mesh basically create the meshing of the blade. So you can double click on it and see how is your uh, meshing is going on. Till to uh, till to see the mesh setup. Now right click on mesh and update make sure everything is up to date if it doesn't then you will not able to uh, uh, you will not properly do the fluid simulation in mt the purpose of selecting this uh, sending this data to setup is that combining both the centrifugal pump and the volute now double click on setup After double clicking on the setup, uh, here you are going to see the geometry of the centrifugal pump. Okay, this is basically centrifugal uh, pump, uh, uh, centrifugal pump. Okay, so now let's start the simulation. It is basically one single view of blade view. Now click on tools, click on turbo mode. Now here we see the rotation axis that basically this is our rotation axis that and and the blade move along uh, in this section you can change this for example by now here, for example when i select y so the rotation is going to in in this way but since our fluid doesn't move in this in this way it basically moves along the z axis so we click on z uh here's a uh, now machine tab basically this is our centrifugal pump uh, again i telling you that we are basically going to simulation on water not on gas so we select pump if you are going to do if you want to do simulation on air or something else click on centrifugal compressor okay 
now uh, click next select r1 uh, here you see the option available volume expand it click on it select passage here here is the passage and here you see the item well we select the item initially 2000 item so here again we set the item 2000 calculation per minute now right click on components add component uh, this time it is stationary component ok now volume select V75 uh, because it is stationary here uh, click on next um, ok select P total mass flow outlet um, mass flow rate is basically uh, we are going to do it 0.5 kg per, sec per second ok per component uh, I am putting this mass flow rate per component you can select per passage per machine uh, choose as per your requirement and you can use equation as per your requirement make sure you know uh, basic things about this now fluid uh, as I already told you I am going to do simulation of water select water click on next uh, then again I am going to click next next click finish yes ok go to solver control uh, maximum rotation type uh, I advise you make sure your maximum activation is near about 500 or 600 uh, I am doing maximum activation type the reason is that uh, I want this basically I am just showing how to do simulation uh, if you want better and accurate rate result make sure your activation is, is high it will show you good result now click on it apply then close ok then close this Now double click on solution. Now select entire local start run. Here the fluid uh, here start going to get, uh, calculate uh, every kind of thing like for example pressure difference etc. Uh, it is going to take time. Now click on results. Now select the streamline. Okay. All domains start from where you want to start the basically to change. Okay, I want to start from here. Click apply. Here we see uh, fluid flow to C in animation. Select streamline, click OK. Here you see the fluid flow and the variation in streamline with the respective velocity. Now Click apply. Now check here you will see that what is the pressure here. Now click on volume rendering. Click OK. Um, here is the pressure. Click apply. 
You can change the resolution for your primary. I have the resolution better the result. Here you see what uh, all going on. Version change, SL and SL chart. Click on Turbo. Set uh, one. Click on Initialize. Insert all components. motors click on from performance r1 high reference radius enter the value as as per the requirements click on calculate uh, it will show you what kind of uh, what view report and here we see the pressure difference inlet outlet total pressure etc and the issues click close blade loading okay here is the blade load graph turbine crankshell How to shout inlet to outlet okay i guess if you want to import this data for example blade loading uh, click on export it will you can export as per your comments uh, set text and enter the file name you want to give this and it will create that file where you can see the data I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.